Okay, so it's 5.15 p.m. Friday, 30th December 2016. 5.15 p.m. <sighs> I feel that. I haven't been eating well, I haven't been sleeping well. I've been, I've been quite miserable. But I want to start making videos again. Because YouTube has been a source of therapy for me. It did help me get through all of those years making videos, so... I guess I'll go back to making videos, so it's nice. I'm waiting for my, uh veggie stew to cool down. It's so noisy in here. My niece is here. <clears throat> it's a school vacation, so... School... vacation. I'm just gonna record this for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. It's very hot. My capsule of biotin finished, but I have another one, so you know, I've got to order more of those. So yeah, I am not well. I am very emotionally unstable. I am extremely moody. Unstable. I am unstable and moody. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Um, so, there you go. So I'm just going to stare into the camera. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I think my hair has grown a bit on the front, so... I did get a book, um, not a book, a movie delivered today. It was a DVD I ordered from Amazon. It was a DVD called Sylvia. It's about Sylvia Plath. And I ordered it a while ago. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to see a, a movie tomorrow. Um, I'm recording a video. <laughs> what is it? When, are, when are you going tomorrow? Um, 3.30. Oh, okay. 3.10. Uh, uh, movies at 3.10. Oh, okay. So. Um, Baba's friend is also coming. Okay, okay. And her son or something. Alright. Um. Uh, anyway, so they're going to see a movie, Star Wars, Rogue One, and I decided to go with them. So that's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting to go with them. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel too good. I am not doing well. I'm actually quite horrible. So I'm making this video because I'm not well. I am not well. I am not well. I am mentally ill. I am messed up. I am not well. I am a neurotic. I am a crazy person. I am a neurotic crazy person. Uh. 
Uh, oh well. Mm. <sighs> Just gotta get through this one day at a time, I guess. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, movies. Uh, Oh, I'm just seeing this movie. It's called Country Strong. Country Strong. It stars uh, Gennett. It's how you pronounce the name. Gennett Paltrow. That's a very interesting name. G G W Y. That's a very interesting name. I don't know where that comes from. Gennett Paltrow. It's called It's called Country Strong. Uh, it stars Tim McGraw, Garrett Headland, and Leighton Meester, who, who was, uh, you know, from uh, what's that Gossip Girl. I, I like that show. So, I'm currently seeing this movie called Country Strong. It's, uh, the blurb reads Soon after a rising young singer songwriter, uh, Headland gets involved with a fallen, emotionally unstable country star Paltrow and the pair embarks on a career resurrection tour helmed by her husband manager McGraw. <laughs> Isn't Tim McGraw like a country singer? And featuring a beauty queen turned singer Meester between concerts, romantic entanglements, And old demons threaten to derail them all. All right. So it's uh, well, it's about two hours, it's like one hour fifteen minutes. So it was in twenty ten, huh? Twenty ten. I saw this movie. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm like binge watching. You're gonna pounce on movies. I just saw this movie. It's called Proof. It's it stars uh, Anthony Hopkins. You know, Paltrow, Hope Davis, and Jake Gyllenhaal, and uh, it's about one hour forty-one minutes. I like this film. I really liked this film. From the director of the Academy Award-winning *Shakespeare in Love*. Holy shit! Um, this is a very good film. I liked it. The daughter of a brilliant but mentally disturbed mathematician, recently deceased, who is, you know, Anthony Hopkins, tries to come to grips with her possible inheritance, his insanity. Complicating matters are one of her father's ex-students who wants to search through his papers and her estranged sister who shows up to help settle his affairs. So that was in 2006. I, I, I would want to watch that again, and that's a very good film. You know, it's about, like, are you crazy? Huh? Because sometimes I feel like I, I get very paranoid and I don't know. I'm very moody. I like this film with the, the Shallows. I really think this is a very positive film. I, whenever I see it, I feel, I feel like this film, you know, the, the, the starring Blake Lively. And it's like a shark. I feel... Uh, this is a very positive film. It's about uh, getting over grief. Uh, it's uh, I like that film. Uh, anyway, so I've been seeing lots of films. Lots of films. Oh, I did get uh, the ones I got today were duets starring. Apparently, this was I think directed by her dad. Bruce Paltrow. Hmm. And I'm also getting Perfect Murder, I've seen that before, and Hush. Yeah. So it's downloading now. Oh, that's 10 minutes done. Uh. 5.25 p.m. Yeah, I need to take care of myself. I've been neglecting myself. You see, as I go through these emotional... Um, these moods thing where... 
My emotions get so intense. They become unbearable. They become so unbearable. I feel like I'm... It is so painful. And then, after a while, they go away. And I'm okay. But in the moment, they're unbearable. I can't deal with them. So, anyway. So this is... Uh, we're getting close to the end of 2016. This has been a very difficult year for me. I, I didn't, this has been quite a difficult year. Uh, it's a very challenging year for me. I'm gonna make my, uh, let me go check on my uh, blog. Uh, because I did have my 2000 and what the fuck sign in yeah I'm looking for my blog where is my blog it wants me to oh shit oh, forget it uh, anyway so I had my old um, you know New Year's resolutions for last year I think I achieved some of them, but I think my main failure is the lack of a job, a work. So, um, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So maybe to next year. I could focus on getting a job. Uh -oh, I'm getting into a bad mood again. Let me let me go to read about movies. <laughs> that uh, that it distracts me a bit. Um, I got this movie called The Clearing. It stars Robert Redford, Will, Willem Dafoe, Helen Mirren. Alessandro Nivola, Matt Craven. I really like this film. Uh, 2004, so Wayne and Eileen Hayes, Robert Redford and Helen Millen, appear to be living the American dream until Wayne is kidnapped in broad daylight from their peaceful Pittsburgh estate. Suddenly, the man who at one point prided himself on being a cunning negotiator finds his fate resting in the hands of a kidnapper, Willem Dafoe, who has nothing to lose and everything to gain. Yeah, that was, oh, that, that was so heartbreaking, this film, because it's like, you thought like, anyway, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a very good film. Uh, I also saw this film called Magic in the Moonlight. It's a Woody Allen film. Uh, I don't think I'll record till uh, 20 minutes, I'll record till 15 minutes. Um, I'm getting tired. So, set in the 1920s on the idyllic French Riviera. Magic in the Moonlight follows a cynical master illusionist who is invited to a family mansion to unmask a possible swindle involving an alluring young clairvoyant named Sophie, who, who's played by uh, Emma Stone. At first, Stanley is confident he can expose Sophie as a fraud, but as he witnesses her accomplish numerous supernatural feats, he begins to question his rational worldview. Well, his rational worldview remains intact at the end of the movie, but he does fall in love with Sophie and that makes uh, life a little bit more magical that's what the thing is about magic in the moonlight magic in the moonlight this is a very um, intellectual film it's very very well written uh, I would recommend people to watch it so Anyway, so um, it's coming to the 15 minute mark, so I'll sign off now. I will sign off and I'll make a video tomorrow. <laughs>